morning and say, Oh, she's coming. <laughs>
that for me to come straight in and try to preach on a Sunday morning <coughs> was more emotional than I could handle. And I would just stand here and blubber and, and make very little sense. And I found I need a few days for all of what we have experienced to flow through and filter through our lives so that we might share it with you in, in a way that you would not only be understanding, but excited about what God is doing. So you will forgive me if we don't go into the stories, because we can start right now and not stop until next Sunday, probably. But uh, So that's why we will share more with you later. Your prayers are so, so wonderful. We did have a gift this year that we never had before, and that was that they had put internet in the camp where we stayed. And so we were able to keep in touch with you through Facebook and through uh, really that was the, the way we didn't have inter, uh, emails available, but just through that one instrument. And it was such a blessing, not only to be able to share, and uh, but to be able to hear from you, your support and your prayers. And so we thank you for that above everything else, that you prayed with us and supported us and was with us. And we thank God for what he accomplished, and he did accomplish much. And I'm thankful that he's accomplishing much right here. And I'm thankful. So Todd, bring us the word. I'm glad you're back. How many are thankful that he's not preaching until next Sunday? <laughs> I thought I was long-winded enough. That'd be pretty bad. I'll try not to be so today. <clears throat> 